Hello everyone, so this is the second part of the two part tutorial. The first part I showed how to print this Easter egg patterned canvas. Basically this was like one square of pattern, like a seamless pattern and then I pieced it together to make one whole sheet of canvas and printed that out and backed it. And now I'm going to use my printed canvas along with this gorgeous silver chunky glitter fabric and this lovely pink chunky glitter fabric. And as we're going for the Easter theme, I'm going to be using this cute little bunny here, which is in gray and it's got little pink in the ears, which is why I thought I'll bring out the pinks and the silvers. And we are also going to be making a half and half bow because I've seen quite a few people asking how to make a bow half and half, like two different fabrics or patterns and join them together. So that is going to be in this tutorial as well today. So to begin with, I'm going to use a few of my little Easter eggs from this printout to make little elements for my hair bow. So I've just cut out a piece of my fabric here and I'm going to go for these three eggs for my bow. So as you can see, I've started cutting one out. So I'm just carefully cutting round the very edge of that egg, using my left hand to curve it round as I go. So there's one egg cut out and I'm going to cut another two out so that I've got three eggs. So there's my three eggs cut out and I like this pattern because as you can see the eggs have all got like a lighter patch in the corner to give them a sort of 3D look. Now I'm going to back these with some felt just to give them a little bit more depth and thickness. So I've just got a piece of scrap felt here and my all-purpose adhesive glue and I'm going to glue these onto the felt and then cut them out around the eggs on the felt. And then what I'm going to do next is just run a lighter flame around the edge and that will just remove any of those fluffy bits of the felt from the edge. So that's one egg ready and that's just got that felt on the back there to add a little bit more depth and also that will be easier to hot glue onto my bow. So I'm going to do the same with the other two. So I've now got all three little eggs and they're all backed with felt. And then I've got a plain piece of paper here. You can just use any scrap piece of paper to lay these on. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of glitter to my Easter eggs to add a little bit more interest. So they're not so matte because they're kind of matte when they're printed on the canvas sheets. So the glitter will just make them pop a little bit more. The glitters I'm using are Diamond Sparkles by Hunky Dory. Now you can use any glitter you like, just cheap little colored glitters would work fine. I'm using these ones because they're like a sheer colour with a hint of other colours in them. This one's got like a lilac-y tone to it. You can, I've actually marked a bit of lilac on the lid so I can tell, so it's hard to tell. This one leaves like a pinky tone and this one has got a green tone to it. Quite hard to see on the camera. So I'm just going to use these glitters and I'm going to use my Mod Podge glue. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of the Mod Podge glue where I want the glitter. I'm not going to cover the whole thing. So I've got my Mod Podge glue. So on this one, I'm going to go for, I think, the greeny colour glitter around this middle part. 
with the flower. So I'm just gonna add my Mod Podge glue to the yellow parts of this flower. And then taking my glitter, I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. And then bang it off into the pot. And as you can see, that has stuck to where I've added the glue. And that's just added a little bit more interest to that egg. Now I need to tidy up my glitter first, so I'm just going to remove these off this piece of paper. You just fold your paper in half. And then I just make a little crease where that fold is and then you can pour that back into the pot. And that just saves wasting any of your glitter. And I'm going to repeat that with the other two. Just add some little glitter details where I want them. You have your three eggs all glittered. On this one I used the one with a hint of pink and these two both had the one with the hint of green glitter in. And as you can see, they come out really cute. That just makes them pop that little bit more. So now we can set these aside and just let them dry while we make the rest of our hair bow. The template I'm going to be using today is going to be the Flutter Bow template. As you can see, I've got, that reminds me of mermaid tails. It's got like this fancy edging on the tails and the loop part are just sort of circular, but that makes a nice wide bow. That is a nice bow shape. So I thought just for change, rather than keep using my favorite beauty bow, I'm going to use this one today. I am using the center from the beauty bow. It's got that nice rounded center and that does fit this bow. I did have the centre for this one, the same as this, but I can't find it at the moment, which is why I'm just using this one. So I'm just going to grab my pen. So taking my loop part of the template, I'm going to draw half around on my silver fabric. So I literally just want a half of the bow. It don't matter which side you draw, if I flip it over this way, that don't matter, because as you can see, it's totally symmetrical. So I can draw around either side. So halfway into the bow to the outer edge. And then the other half of my bow is going to be the Easter egg pattern. So I'm going to draw on the top half so I can pick which pattern I want. Like that. And then again, I'm going to draw just around a half of my bow and I'm drawing on the front side so I can see which part of the pattern I'm going to have on the inside fold of my bow. Like that. So that's going to be our two loops put together to make our bow. We're going to join those halves together. And for, and for the tails, I'm going to draw around my tail template onto the back of this lovely pink fabric. And I'm also going to draw around my centerpiece with the pink as well, because these are going to be the tails. So I like to bring the tails through to the centerpiece to tie it all in. So I'm just going to draw around that center piece as well on the back of the pink. So now we're ready to cut all of our elements out. And as always to do this, I'll show you on this one. Just to show you, I always cut just inside of that pen line. And also, by the way, I'm using Fiskars razor edge scissors. These are the best scissors you can use on this kind of fabric because they're super sharp. So as you can see, I'm carefully cutting round my bow as close to the line as possible, but I'm keeping slightly to the inside. So as you can see, I'm cutting off that pen line. So on the bow loops, you won't see any of the pen lines on the inside. So I'm going to do that the same with all of my elements. 
So we've got all our little bow parts cut out. Now again, using this piece of felt from earlier that I used to back the eggs, this is why it's good to keep your little scrap bits of felt. You need to cut just a little rectangle of felt around a centimetre wide, basically no wider than the middle of your bow and by around two centimetres in length. So I've just cut that roughly by eye and that is roughly one centimetre by two centimetres. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this to bring these two halves of the bow together. So I'm just going to take my little piece of felt, place some glue on one side and add the middle part of my egg loop, the loop side with the eggs printed on and I'm just sticking that on the underside and then I'm going to take my glue just slightly over that part and over the other half of that felt and pop on my glitter fabric. So that this centre is no wider than your template centre. So if you look at this template here, the centre of that is one centimetre. So it's one centimetre across that middle, and yet this is one centimetre. So you want that to be the same width. And then we can bring those two sides in. So I'm just going to put glue on both of those tab ends. My felt side into the centre. And then my glitter side into the centre. So this is what it looks like now from the front. And then we're going to attach that to our tails. So I'm just going to place some glue along that centre. And line my bow up on those tails. And then I've already lined a 45mm hair clip. You can use any clip you like, one with teeth, one without teeth, an elastic, headband, whichever you prefer to use. I'm just going to place my clip on the underside. And then we can take our centre piece, beginning with that rounded centre. So I'm going to pop a little tiny bit of glue just on there. Line that up in the centre. And then I'm going to bring that round on the underside and glue those two ends underneath my clip. So I'm just going to open my clip, pinching just the tails, not the loops, so I don't want to flatten my loops. And wrap those centre around the middle. So that's the main part of our bow now made. Now you could leave it like this, but now we're ready to add all our little embellishments. So first of all, I'm going to begin by layering these eggs up. So you pick which one you want on the top. So I think I'm going to go for this nice little one with the stars on on the top. So I'm going to sit these two right next to each other, slightly overlapping like that. And then I'm going to take my egg that I'm having on the top and I'm going to place some hot glue on that bottom. Place that between the two. We've got like a little trio of 3D eggs. So I'm just going to take my glue, place my hot glue all over the back, and stick that on that side of the bow. So I'm just going to pop my fingers inside of the loop so I don't flatten it. So 
like that. And then we're going to stick our bunny on the other side. Now to stick the bunny, you could use this Gorilla Super Glue gel, but I'm going to go for hot glue as I've got some spare felt still left. So on the back of my bunny, I'm going to cut another little piece of felt off. And I'm going to stick that onto the back of my bunny. And then I'm going to stick another tiny little piece on his ears. This is just to help it to stick because as I've said in previous tutorials, hot glue and felt works really well together, but that doesn't work on shiny surfaces. So by sandwiching the felt in the middle, that makes the hot glue able to stick your shiny backed embellishments. So this is how I like to do it. So like that, I've just pieced some bits together to cover the back. Make sure that you can't see the felt on the other side. And then again, using my hot glue gun, we can then stick our bunny onto the egg side of the bow. So again, I'm sticking my finger inside of the loops because I don't want to squash my loops. So by doing that, I can then push that embellishment down. Just getting rid of some stringy bits of glue on there. And next, I've got these gorgeous little flowers, which I thought are nice and sort of spring-like, especially the yellow. They do remind me of sort of Easter time, like daffodils kind of thing. So I'm going to cut a few of these flowers off in different colours, just the head part. And with these tails, you just kind of fold them down a little bit. You can't take these right off because they're holding that little centre piece in. So just fold those over like that. And then using the hot glue, because these are just paper flowers, so they stick up rather well with just hot glue. So I'm going to do... I think the yellow in the middle. Yeah, I'll do it that way around. I'm going to do the pink one first. So I'm just going to take that flower, pop some hot glue on that bottom and stick that underneath that first egg. Just underneath it, but quite close. And then I'm going to do the blue one. Leaving a little gap in the middle for the last yellow one. And then this yellow one in the middle. And then taking another three, we're going to do the same on the opposite side.
And there you have your finished little Easter half and half hair bow. So I've shown you how you can join the two fabrics together. And I'll also link the video of how to print this Easter fabric at the end of this video as well. So you can check that out. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below. And I'll, as always, I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye bye.